Hey guys, so next up we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Legacy Velocitron Speedia 500 Collection Cybertron Universe Override. She actually makes sense to be in the Velocitron line because she was the leader of the planet Velocitron. So, <laughs> makes sense for her even though she was a male character in Armada, not Armada, in Galaxy Force named Nitro Convoy, but they changed her to female in Cybertron, no, whatever. Anyway, so, <laughs> Cybertron Override Legacy... Override, Velocitron, boom, 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 Speed Planet logo, side of the box, over, override, override, leg, back of the box, you have override, override, and there you go. Um, I never actually had the original override toy, as far as I can remember. I don't recall ever having it. If I did, I, 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 I don't remember, but I don't think I did, so. It's cool to have this one, and she was on Amazon for, like, 20 bucks. So I was like, okay, sure, 20 bucks. Bet. That's less than Deluxe's cost now. So, her vehicle mode is really cool. Um, it's very, um, not Earth. Because she's from, well, one, she's not even from China. She's from another planet. But it works for her. Um, she's not really a robot in disguise. She's um, clearly... A, Robot laying down flat. But, you know, it, it does work. Um, she looks cool. The vehicle mode looks cool. And um, it rolls very well. She does not have her cyber key anymore. Um, you can still fit a cyber key in there if you really wanted to. But she doesn't have a cyber key. So there's that. Um, anywho, let's transform her. So. That's all going to separate. Legs are going to fold out straight these feet are going to fold up like so this is going to slide up and that's going to push back there boom boom excellent so now we're going to get this turn it all around turn the hands around And we're going to do some stuff. Yeah, that arrow's down, doesn't it? <laughs> so let's fold that body down. Fold these pieces down like that. Then we're going to rotate the arms up. Push it all in, and everything's going to tab in together. It's a little tricky, but once you get it down, she holds together very well. And this is Override's robot mode. And I think she looks cool. I've always liked um, Override's design. And um, of all the Cybertron characters we've gotten so far, you know, uh, Prime, Her, and Metroplex. Oh, and there was a Generation Select Cybertron Defense Hotshot. Um, she's my favorite so far of the two I have. I don't have Metroplex, but I do have Prime. I think she's really neat. So, her head is on a pretty tight ball joint. Can look up and down. Can't look up and down, but rotate the shoulders in and out. Turn at the bicep, elbow, wrist articulation, waist swivel limited because of the back, but that's okay. Legs can go forward. Can go back a little bit. In and out. Turn right here. And she's got ankle, and she's got toe. So she's got plenty of articulation, and she looks very nimble. She looks like a speedster, which, you know, she is. So, that works. Now, one, another gimmick she has is that you can pull this piece off her back. Like that. And that's it, that's the whole gimmick. No, I'm kidding. You fold these wings up slightly, and then fold these pieces out to get her blaster. And that plugs in, and that is a great weapon integration, I think. It fits perfectly with the robot mode, gives her like a jet pack, like a booster pack for her vehicle mode, and a flight pack for her robot mode. And when you take it off, you get this really cool double blarrowed gun. I think that's neat. Um, and she feels good. She's not loose at all. I feel like Hasbro's QC has gone up in the Legacy line compared to the Prime Wars trilogy and the War of Cybertron trilogy. I feel like Legacy's QC has gone up. 
So good job there. And I think she's really neat. Um, I think she's one of my favorites um, from the Unicron Trilogy figures so far. Um, I think I, I like her more than Hotshot and Starscream and Armada and Cybertron Prime, but I like her less than Armada Megatron and Armada Prime. So she's like third place for my Unicron Trilogy figures right now. I think she's really neat, personally. Um, hopefully we get some more. It looks like Tidal Wave's coming out. And United, I really am hoping for Jetfire. We'll see. Um, hope for more Cybertron, guys. I think Optimus needs a desperate redo. <laughs> maybe Cybertron Megatron, maybe Cybertron Soundwave. We'll see. Sky's the limit with these figures, but I like her a lot. I think she's well worth it, especially if you get her on the Amazon price for 20 bucks. Oh, yeah, that's a steal for this figure. I think she's great. So hopefully you guys will enjoy her, too. And um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoy it. And I'm going to put her with uh, Galaxy Upgrade Optimus Prime because that's the only figure I have that sort of matches her. So, have a good one, guys. Take care.